Hi there, bonjour, hola. My name is Tris. If you're new on this channel, welcome. We are so glad to have you join the community of learners. Quiz Photoshop is dedicated to teaching beginners, intermediates, and advanced as well. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can create this simple, fat, nice flyer. So without much ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is create the template. So we're going to go to file new and we want to change our dimensions to inches and we want our width to be 13.5 and our height will be 20 and we're going to keep our resolution at 300. So the first thing we're going to do is that we want to set our background. Now our background is going to be black. So we are going to flip our foreground and background, which is the default color. And we are going to pick our paint bucket. You want to select your paint bucket and you want to click anywhere inside your canvas to paint in the color. So the next thing we're going to do is to type in our theme. So we're going to pick our text tool with our foreground as white. I'm going to type in. I'm going to scale it. So I'm going to set it somewhere here and I'm going to set it in place like this. And you can reduce it depending on what size you want or even where you want to place yours. So I'm going to double click to accept and I'm going to click on that layer, double click on the layer in the layers panel. Now your layer style comes up. We want to add a few effects. Now in my previous recent tutorials, I've done how you can create a gold effect. So this is going to be a quick one. So I'm going to choose a bevel and a contour. And I'm also going to choose an inner glow and a gradient as well as a drop shadow. Now I've already applied these effects. So if I double click on my bevel, you can see I have an inner bevel style technique is chisel hard and the depth is 688. I have my size and softener at zero, but you can move it to get the desired effect you want. Now you can see that once I move my size, it changes it for me, but I want to keep it on zero and we want to keep our gloss contour on the double ring. Your highlight mode is on screen. Your angle is at 90, but you can change it. My opacity for the high light mode is at 83 and my highlight mode is screen. My shadow mode is multiply. So I'm going to go to my contour and you can see I have this basic contour, which is a roll slope contour and the range is at 100. Now, if you come to my inner glow, I have an orange color and you can pick any color you want. Or if you want to match the color number is F E eight B O four. And my blend mode is on multiply opacity is at 60 noise is at 17. Now you can see that my choke and size choke is at zero size is at three and my source is centered. My contour is on cone and we're going to go to our gradient. Very basic. The blend mode is normal opacity is at a hundred. Now when it comes to the gradient, I'm going to double click. So you see, so I have, two colors all in the yellow range so when it comes to my gradient i have my first color and is fdf4af and the second color is and the second color is f4af55 you can keep that or you can make it even more deeper and we have the drop shadow so another drop shadow very basic i have my blend mode on normal opacity 83 you don't even need a shadow because you're working with a black background so if i take that off it doesn't make any difference so i'm going to go ahead and click ok now the next thing we want to do is to add the rest of the text so i'm going to pick my text tool and i'm going to type in new year all lowercase 
I'm going to highlight and I'm going to change the font to Gala Stone and I'm going to rescale like so. And then I'm going to go to my property and I'm going to turn off that caps lock. I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to go ahead and rescale and move it down like so. I'm going to scale it a little bit more. And I'm going to set it right there. Now I want to add the year 2021. So I'm going to pick my type tool again and I'm going to type in 2021 and I'm going to go ahead and scale this. And I'm going to double click and change the color this time to Dazzle. So I have to go look for that. Dazzle unique case. And I'm going to move that and set that somewhere here like so. And I like the way it is. I'm not going to change the size. This is good enough. Now, I want the, the gold effect on my uh, happy to also be on my 2021. So the easiest way to do this is you want to right click on the layer for the happy and you want to make a copy of the layer style. Now click on your new layer for the year, right click and paste layer style. Now you see that that same effect have been applied to your font below and you didn't have to do it again or apply those effects. So that's a quick way to apply it, to apply any layer style that you already have. For, I want to go to my folder and we want to drag in a few things that we are going to use to finish this off. So I'm going to pull in this image and that is just a watch. Now we like this watch, but we don't need the bottom. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select my marquee tool and I'm going to highlight that portion and I'm going to pick my eraser. I'm going to click on my image. I'm going to say yes. So it's going to convert it into a raster image so I can edit this file and I'm going to press command D to deselect. Now we want to move this and set it right in the middle of our O, but you can see that it has the background. So the easiest way to take off the background is that you want to go into your blending options and you want to set your blending options to screen. Now, when you set it to screen, screen basically takes away anything that is black in an image. So I'm going to set that right there like so. Now we want to go ahead now back to our folder. We want to drag in a few things. So I'm going to drag this champagne glass. We want to toast to 2021. I know we are all excited and we can wait. Once you set this in, we want to make sure that we take off the bottom portion and the green area. So you want to pick your a poly lasso tool and you want to just draw around this and we want to just take off the shadow as well like that we want to pick our eraser tool and we want to click on the image it will ask if you want to convert to a raster image we want to say yes now press command D to D select now we want to move this and set that somewhere here but you realize that it also came in with the background so another quiz for you to take off the background of anything that has black what do you do you're right you go to your blending options and change the background to screen now screen takes away the background that is black so we're going to set it somewhere here or you can move it in the middle wherever you want but i want to put the champagne right on top of the a and h something like this okay so we want to go back to our folder and we want to also bring in this image as well it's another splash uh, of a champagne and we are going to double click to accept go to the blending options change the background to screen so we have this effect now the only thing we want to get rid of in this image is this little 
piece. So I pick my eraser tool. I need to click on the image, accept it. Now I can erase just this little piece and it's all gone. Everything is coming together very nicely. We can go ahead and select all of this and scale it down a little and we set it right there like so. If you want to make it big, you can or you can keep it small. Now we want to go back to our folder and we want to bring in a few other elements like this background and we want to go ahead and scale it like so. And again, we want to go to our blending options, change it to screen, and we want to move this layer all the way to the bottom, like so. So it's beneath. Now we can leave it like this, but if you want to blur out your confettis a little, you can click on that layer, go to filter, blur, gush and blur. And we can reduce the blur effect on that a little. So we have something like this. And this is just your choice. So if you want to have this effect, you can do it. If you want to keep it as it was too, you're welcome to do so. So I'm going to keep it like this. I'm going to click OK and come out of it. Now we want to go back to our folder and we want to bring in our next confetti and i'm going to also scale this like that i'm going to double click and you're right i'm going to change this also to screen so we're playing a lot with layering and we want to move this also to the bottom so it's not on top so we are going to bring in this powder sparkle and this one i'm just going to scale and we want to keep it somewhere here like that now we want to keep this on top so we do have like a little bit of a sparkle effect on the happy so i'm going to go back to the folder and you can see that we do have this light source effect that I want to bring in but I'm going to pull this white fire wax in first and I'm going to scale it and set that somewhere here and then double click accept and we're going to change the blend mode to screen so that also is without the background so you see that there's a lot of layering that is going on to give us this effect now I know when you see the flyer at a glance, it looks very difficult, but it's actually very easy to do. As long as you know what technique you want to use, you are good to go. So I'm gonna double click and set this here. So it's almost as though we have the powder glitter on top of the happy. And I think that is very nice. If you believe 2021 is going to be a, the best year, type in the comments amen so let's go on with this so we're gonna go back to our folder and we are going to pull in this image we're gonna drop it right there and we are again going to take off the background so i've shown you a lot with screens that you should by now know how to use the blending mode screen whenever you need to take off a black background you can basically use your screen now we can leave this like that but sometimes I like to pick my brush and I like to clean a little bit around the image I brought in just in case it has a, a, a border around it it doesn't show so you can only see the lens flare effect now I want this to have a gold-ish effect to it so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to go to my adjustment add a hue saturation and i'm going to hold down my shift and clip it only to the lens flare effect on the bottom so that all the changes does not affect anything else below this image now i'm going to click on my hue and i'm going to move the slider 
till I get the gold-ish effect that I want. I'm still looking for it. And I think we arrived at it. So I'm gonna keep playing with it a little bit more till I get the effect. And I think we're there. So I'm going to go ahead and scale it just a little like so. I'm going to leave it right. I'm going to make a copy. So Command J, make a copy. And I'm going to move that and set that somewhere here, like so. I'm going to move that and set that somewhere here, like so. So we have this cool effect. Now I want to go back to my folder and I'm going to go ahead and pull this in as well. And we're going to do the same thing. Go to blend in options, change it to screen. And I'm going to move this and set that somewhere here. We want to add a little bit of a bling bling effect. We're going to go back and move this as well. It's the same thing. And we're going to double click and then change the blend mode to screen. Now I want to move this and set this somewhere here, like so. We have this effect. Now, if you don't want the other um, effect in terms of the confetti, you can turn this off so you just have this and or you can just move the other one out of place but you realize that when i try to select the confetti it's still selecting the champagne glass so i want to go ahead and lock that by clicking on the padlock it's going to lock that for me now when i try to move it it's not going to move it will select all the other things around it i'm actually going to click on it and turn it off now I want to scale that a little too. So I'm going to hold it and scale it like that. So we have just a little bit and it's not too much images. I'm going to go ahead and just move it a little and center it. Oops. So I need to first of all unlock my layer and that way I can move both and center it somewhere here. I want it in the middle like that and i'm going to move my light and set that right there and i'm going to move this and maybe let's do it here so we have something like that and it's looking really good i'm going to select both layers and i'm going to scale it just a little bit and move it right there and i'm going to move the light and set that right there so it looks like we have a little bit of a sparkle effect going on. I'm going to go back to my folder. So I'm going to make a duplicate of this light, Command J. And I'm going to set that right here. The last thing that we want to do to finish this off is that we want to add what? A color lookup. Now, you know by now that color lookup is now my favorite final touch up. So we are going to click on the top image and we are going to go to our adjustment color lookup and we want to click on the options and we are going to choose a Crips warm lights and you can see the effect just with that one click and if it's a little bit too much for you you can even take the opacity down a little so that you still get the gold effect but it's not too much i hope that this was very helpful i know it's a very short tutorial and honestly this is a very simple um flyer but it can look very complicated if you don't know how it was put together and i wanted to show you guys how you can achieve a very complex design but with a very strategic and simple placement of images hope that this was helpful please like comment subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell for all future uploads so until next time guys please be safe bye y'all